if LeBron James beats this Warriors team that improved over last year with Kevin Durant, he is squarely back in the Michael Jordan conversation. If Durant mm -hmm. loses, that's bad. But we cut guys some slack first year on a super team. Just like, I know it's different because they've already but this won super together. Team? Even I this, don't super know about team, this super team, he's going to get cut some slack in this sense, Molly. He'll get killed this year, yeah. but then he'll be back next year and the year after that. And eventually they'll win a couple championships and it will be a mark against him the way it's a mark against LeBron in Miami. But eventually you can cover over that. But if LeBron wins this, the, uh, the sky's the limit. There is, the upside is infinite if he beats this Warriors team after having beaten it last year and wins the rubber match. Game, set, match, LeBron. After hugging your little brother and, and telling him we're going to come back and get them next year, you depart for the very team that beats you a month later. After you do that, the very next season, you go to that team who won an NBA championship, who's been the back-to-back -back NBA finals with the greatest shooting backcourt in the history of basketball with Draymond Green and Livingston and Iguodala and the crew still there. The only difference is you in, play, in replacing uh, Andrew Bogut and Harrison Barnes and you lose in the finals to the Cleveland Cavaliers or earlier, it would be disastrous. Kevin Durant could not eat, could never shake that. No, oh, it would no. be huge. Oh, no, 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 no. Denying, I want to hear that. There was no that. denying that that would be a, a tragedy of epic proportions it, for Durant. We're going to stop right there. Well, tragedy no. of epic wait, proportions. Wait, wait. Tragedy there, of epic There's proportions. no denying it. The reason it's an interesting question is there's also no denying the enormous upside for LeBron. And what we're doing here is debating which would be bigger. And I'm telling you, the biggest prize in all of sports, that's across every single sport, is Michael Jordan. Who is the Michael Jordan of basketball? That's true. That's Michael Jordan. And LeBron's chasing the highest mark in the history of, of known man, uh, athletic competition on earth. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.